When editing a video, it can be a big headache if you run into issues like poorly collected shots or mismatched frames, because it will make your film look not professional and lack of quality. And if you don't have time to film it all over, it is extremely important to add your footage with some post-production skills. Thus, in today's video, we'll show you three common issues and the ways to solve them. If you are interested in this one, keep watching the video. First, let's look at these two shots. They are both panoramic, and the angle of the two images does not follow the 30 degree principle, and the difference is very small. So when you add these two shots together, you can feel that the images are much alike. Not only would there be a disconnect between the two shots, but also give the audience very little new content. And to fix this problem, we can use a pair up template. Let's go to Video Vlogger and give it a try. Create a new project. Import the two shots together into the software. Then drag them into the video track separately. Find the split tool. Click it to split the two clips. Make sure that the character's movements are well connected. Once that's done, we'll start using the pair up tactic, which means tweaking one of the shots or both shots to make them match as much as possible. So here I will choose this shot, find a crop icon in the toolbar, use it to adjust the view of this shot and create some change to the image. Here first, select a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Then use a mouse to adjust the size of the frame. Once you are satisfied with the adjustment, click Apply to apply the adjustment. Let's see the result. Of course, sometimes the clip we added might be in a such a mismatched position which can cause a sense of visual discontinuity. In this case, we can insert a cheating shot. A commonly used cheating shot can be a reaction shot, an insertion shot, or a point of view shot. Here, I will choose a point of view shot, import it into the software, and drag it onto the video track to insert it between the two clips. Add it and adjust it a little bit. This shot doesn't need to be too long, Now, you can make the viewer focus on the watch while the man is pressing his watch, and then move on to the leg shot. This can help reduce the sense of mismatch between the shots. Similarly, this method can be also used in the scenario mentioned earlier. For example, instead of using the pair-up approach, we can import a relevant reaction shot, and use it to show that the character in the frame is hitting hard. This way, we can complete the transition. Drag it in between the two boxing videos. Adjust the length directly with the mouse. Then, go to Inspector and find a play speed area. We can directly select the proper value. Or click on Custom to customize the speed to slow down the clip. This will give us a better result. Lastly, let's talk about the mismatch direction scenario. In the first shot, the car is driving from left to right. And in the next shot, the car is driving from right to left. 
This kind of transition creates a sense of skipping. To fix it, you can try the first method, and that is select one of the clips. Then go to the inspector and find the transform error. Click on horizontal flip. This will directly change your direction. And then preview the effect. In addition to that, we can also try another way. Instead of editing the two original shots, we can cut in a shot that matches the top and the bottom of the scene. For example, here I will import an overhead shot of the car driving and drag it into the video track. At this point, it matches both the top and bottom shots and can also show the changing process, which brings a gradual sense of change. Let's see the effect. Isn't that great? Alright, these are the three common scene issues and the solution that we wish to share today in this video. And there is no absolute correspondence between them. All you have to do is to use them flexibly based on the actual scenario. Anyway, don't forget to click that subscribe button to subscribe to channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye!